Good morning, uh, customers, partners, dealers, friends. This is 4th of July, the American Independence Day. But today we are here uh, for something else. It's more Scandinavian. The Scandinavian culinary experience with Volvo Car Malaysia. So a, a warm welcome from my side. My name is Nalin Jain. I am the Managing Director's Director for Volvo Cars. Uh, with me, I have a special person who's going to actually take us through this journey, this, this cuisine. Uh, his name is Jasper. He actually is the chef de cuisine at Four Seasons in Kuala Lumpur. He has over 12 years experience in these kind of wonderful cuisines in Dubai and many other premium hotels around the world. So with that, I would like to welcome him to join us and take us through this journey. Welcome, Jasper, how are you doing today? I'm good, Mr. Naling. How are you? I'm very good, I'm very good. We are very excited to have you, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Our customers are very excited to have you and help us to make this Wallenberger, eh? Yeah, Wallenberger. Yeah. Wallenberger, okay, yeah. Wallenberger. That's, Wallenberger. That's, that's good, very good. So before you get into this, I will maybe take one minute and introduce you to this sure. beauty, right? Sure, wow. so nice color. Is, yeah, nice color, wow. very nice color. I love this color. So this is a car which we recently launched in the CKD. So it, is, it was available in CBO. Now we launched this in Malaysia. So we say this car is something for the road, something for the planet. And you know why we say that? is because it delivers amazing power and does 0 to 100 in 4.4 seconds. Oh, that's very fast. Yeah, it wow. is. At the same time, it's a plug-in hybrid, which means the emissions of this car are extremely low. So you yeah. can have fun without making sure that you're not destroying the environment. Yes. So with that, I thought, let me now get back to making the, the cuisine that you are great at and Balam our customers Balam, yes. are waiting for. Yes, yeah? sure. So have a good, good uh, fun session with our customers. I will, I will. Yeah? Thank you, Mr. Naring. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. So today with us, um, we are doing a Valen burger. It's a very classic uh, uh, Swedish dish where only the richest get to eat this last time in the 90s, uh, in the 70s, sorry. So in Valen burger, it consists of uh, ground veal. Traditionally, it consists of ground veal mashed potato, bread crumbs, butter, cream, egg yolk, and rosemary. So today we are using ground chicken. So I'm gonna start cooking now. So your camera wanna cross back? So we're gonna start to do the Patty. Patty is uh, consists of uh, today we're using chicken, ground chicken, 400 grams. To do a simple Valm burger, you need minced chicken, cream, egg yolk, two numbers, a little bit of uh, rosemary, gherkin, shallot, this uh, flour, and breadcrumbs for the uh, patty. For the sauce, we need we need um, apple juice, lincolnberry, and sugar. You can use uh, wine if you like to use wine. Um, traditionally, people use wine to do the sauce. So uh, today, I like to do a simple version using just fresh um, apple juice. So I'm gonna start with to do the uh, patty. Okay, doing the patty, I'm gonna put it using a mixing bowl and put everything in. So 200 gram of uh, ground chicken. Some rosemary for taste. 20 gram of gherkin. Twenty gram of shallot. Forty ml of uh, cream. Some egg, two numbers of egg yolk, some salt and pepper, pepper. Then we will mix it by using a rubber spatula. We'll mix everything. Mm. 
mix well this and while it's cold you mix it uh, it's, it's important that when you mix this one when it's cold so that everything binds together if it's warm or room temperature this thing will split up very fast so we try to make it as fast as possible when it's cold So when uh, when it's uh, you can see it's get getting more finer and finer. The color is getting uh, 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 fairer and fairer. This is uh, when you know your product uh, is bind well already. So I'm gonna do like this to let some air fall in to make it even whiter. So there you go. This is mixture for uh, Wallenberger. So uh, this is the mixture for uh, Wallenberger. You can see it's uh, more white after we mix in everything. So uh, after season and stuff, we can keep it in chiller to let it set. It's important that uh, when you do uh, the patty, that you do it when it's very, very cold like this. And everything will bind in together. You can see it's properly bind together. OK? So. So using a round cutter, this size, put in a um, hundred gram of uh, the mixture. First, first of all, you have to wet the side, oil the side. Put in the mixture. So this is how you um, fill it in the cutter. So every Every size that you do is the same and it looks good for your presentation too. So, so uh, next, next, you just have to put it inside the chiller to cool it for half an hour to let it set. Then we can start to coat the um, batter. Okay? So we don't need this one anymore, huh? so I can clear it off. So we take the frozen one. So no, this one can just hide already, no use right there. So uh, the next step after after the patty has been um, been uh, chilled and set, yeah, we need to do the egg wash. These are the ingredients for the egg wash. For the egg wash, there's an important tip that you need to know that you need to beat the egg. This is the basic thing. This um, beating that you give for the egg wash will um, prevent you to have lumps in your um, breaded food. Yeah, it will make it a small, smoother layer on the outside. So it's just a very straightforward, done beating. So there's no albumin left. Everything is smooth. So um, this is uh, right from the chiller. I'm gonna dip it in flour. This is our all-purpose flour. Yeah, and this there's another tip also for doing this flour. After you coat them, you need to tap them. This will also give another smoother texture for for your coating. Yeah. So there's no um, so that it's evenly coated. Yeah, that's the keyword actually. So patty drop inside the egg wash. and then down to the breadcrumbs. So there you go, perfectly, perfectly coated. Second piece, same, um, flour first. Then the egg wash. Then down to the breadcrumbs.
There you go. So done, two pieces of uh, Wallenberger. OK. I'm going to heat up some butter. So uh, to cook this uh, Wallenberger, we need to use um, butter. Why butter? Butter gives a sense of uh, richness and a nutty flavor for, for all your patty. So I'm going to move this stuff for the side. So in a pan, heat up, get some butter. So in the in the pan, melt the butter. Heat up to 160, 180. So we call it a medium high high heat. Okay, how to see it's medium high heat? is uh, listen to the sound, the cracking sound. When the sound finish, means uh, your liquid, the, the, the milk in the butter is um, dissolved already. So in goes the patty. And let the butter do the job. As you can see, the butter getting browner and browner. You can add in more butter. Yeah, the more butter it is, the better the dish. So this will prevent the uh, butter from being over brown. So continue that for another four minutes, and we, we will flip it after this. So I flip it, see it's uh, golden brown. So almost done, yeah? So you can see um, there's a golden crust, and it's almost ready. This is our finished product of uh, Valenberg. It's uh, cr crispy, you can hear the sound crackling. 
OK. Next, we're going to do our green pea. Get a pot. Sorry, I can use a smaller one. Pot. So what I have here is uh, green peas. A little bit of um, fresh mint chop, yeah, to give a little bit of uh, freshness to a pea that we we add in some butter into. So the pea, uh, the, the the green pea, uh, the the pas uh, the mint will give a real nice king. Yeah. So I'll be melting some butter again. This is a petit pois, petit pois green pea. This one do not have a hard shell, so this is very soft. So I'm going to cook it for um, a minute or two. Salt. Pepper. Just a quick boil. Then I in the chopped mint. That's it. Done. Okay. Next. Next, um, we'll do the Lincoln berry sauce. Yep. In 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 uh, Western cooking, the we use a lot of uh, wine in our cooking and uh, that will give uh, proper acidity to uh, and uh, acidity to the sauce and also a layer body to the to the sauce so right here with me today i'm using lincoln berries i got some uh, fresh apple juice and some sugar for the for the sauce of uh, Wallenberger. so it's very straightforward i'm going to add in the um, i'm going to add in the sugar first Sugar first to create a uh, caramel, caramel at a hundred and thirty Celsius. Yep, a hundred and twenty-one Celsius. Sorry. So, with me here is a temperature prop. I'm gonna bring uh, the sugar to a caramelization. Yeah, sugar to caramelization at one hundred and fifteen Celsius. Okay, you can see the caramel. It's uh, getting brown before it gets burned. Yeah, before the sugar burns, this is when I add in my Lincoln Berry. Then I'll add in 20 grams of uh, sugar. And I will add in my uh, my apple juice, twenty ml. Uh, it's it's totally up to you. Uh. It's totally up to you if you want your um, sauce to be a bit more um, sweeter. You can add in more sugar. What I have here is. Um, it's a uh, 20 gram of sugar only, so uh, you can add more from time to time if you want it to be um, be sweeter. I understand Lincoln Berry is a little bit sour, uh, but I like it a little bit sweet. Okay. So um, you see, this is the Lincoln Berry. So let it reduce for uh, another. 15 minutes, you can add in, you can always add in a cinnamon powder, you can add in a clove, star anise, you can add in a cardamom if you like, um, you can, or you can use garam masala 
for for this um, this um, Lincolnberry sauce. So it's a lot of version. You can do your own version. So um, from time to time, if you want if you want to know what wine goes best with uh, the Lincolnberry sauce, I would suggest you to go for uh, Shiraz Shiraz white wine. Uh, they will give a good body for for your sauce. So uh, sauce is done. So I'm gonna plate up the dish now. So um, earlier on, this is our mashed potato that we do earlier on. This is the view. Green pea. And the sauce. This is a plate, plate that I use. I, uh, we order it from Finland, Scandinavian part. It's uh, very clean and um, tidy. Uh, the design is uh, more to what we call simplicity. Yeah, simplicity. That I'm going to use some uh, afila crest. It goes well with uh, green pea. You can also use um, asparagus. You can use uh, baby carrot to replace the green pea. Uh, you can even use uh, zucchini if you want. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on top just to finalize the dish. That's all. So I'm gonna wish you Nosha Jan. Enjoy. So Slamam Jamuslera. This is my dish. <laughs>